Welcome back to the channel. Uh, as always, thank you to my subscribers for your support and please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, with this video, I'm going to be focusing on three improvements that Apple could make with the MacBook Air M1. And this is after one month. Right, I want to point out that after one month, I really love my MacBook Air M1. Um, but as I said before, there's three things that I think could be an improvement for the next model if they do it, and I'm going to go through them. First thing to point out are, are the bezels. I mean, if you just, I don't know why I'm scrolling there, but if you have a look, I mean, they're, they're quite thick, really, for a laptop of this price, um, and they're quite prominent, and they've been there for years. Um, the Dell XPS, for instance, which is similarly priced, uh, has uh, smaller bezels, um, as well as the Asus ZenBook. Saying that, the MacBook Air does get away with it. I mean, if you were to go anywhere with this bezel design, you know, no one's going to shun you. In fact, the MacBook, you know, MacBook Airs, M1 particularly, is selling a lot of the other laptops. And um, it is quite a decent price as well for what you're getting. Uh, but yeah, the bezels are something that you do need to sort out. And apparently they are for the next version. I mean, I could lead on and say stuff about the design on it as well. I mean, it's it's the same design essentially that we've all grown to love. Uh, I remember back in the day, this used to light up. Um, I kind of miss that, but it's, it's not a big thing that it's not here. I mean, it's still a gorgeous sort of laptop design. Um, it really is just lovely. Um, and with the air as well, it does have a sleeker look to the M M1 MacBook Pro. And at least here in the UK, it is outselling it. Um, I've seen discounts of up to £100 off on Amazon for the Pro version because less people are buying it. Um, second thing I've got to talk about is the battery life on it. Um, and that's when using apps that are optimised. Now, I had to get rid of Google Chrome on here because um, it was just giving me around six hours. Now, six hours is really good for a laptop under £800. If you're spending over that, then six hours is not very good considering with Safari. I mean, Safari is just fantastic. It's smooth, it's really responsive, it's fast, and I can get way longer than six hours. I can get up to 10 hours, including YouTube as well. But I think because it's software related as well, they will improve on it in the future. It's just until then, at the moment, when you have Rosetta with the Intel apps, um, they do kill the battery, um, basically. It's just a case of um, waiting. My last point has to be the webcam. I mean, it's 720p. Let's see if I can just bring up the quick specs. I'll also put a um, overview of it um, on the video as well. It's still 720p, which in this day and age, it needs to be 1080p. I mean, if you think about all the um, work people are doing online because of the pandemic, uh, you thought they would have got a 1080p camera into it, um, particularly as the bezels have got enough space for it. I mean, they've got space for a 1080p camera. If you compare it to the iPad Pro or iPhone XS onwards, um, it falls short, completely falls short. But yeah, saying this, I mean, it's, an, it's a vast improvement on the Intel version because I had the i3 version um, just last year and um, that was just abysmal. But whatever software improvements they've done, the M1 processor has helped it um, and it looks decent. I'm not going to show it on here because um, you won't see it accurately and you'll see my face as well. Um, but yeah, they could have done a better job with it. I'm hoping next year they obviously put a 1080p camera into it. Well, those are my thoughts on the three issues that I had with the MacBook Air M1. I mean, I wouldn't even call them issues as such, but obviously in this case I did call them issues because for some people they might be issues, uh, particularly the bezel. Some people might be put off by the rehashed design almost. I mean, I think it still looks great. Then there's obviously the Intel apps. If you're using apps that haven't been optimized, that's going to be a bit of a problem. But then again, um, all it takes is for updates to be released and then those apps can be sorted. Until then, you're going to have to put up with the um, battery life on it. Um, with regards to the camera as well, if you're doing a lot of Skype, Zoom, a lot of work, uh, it's, it's better than what it was before. It's still not great. Some people might opt to, I've had to do a lot of work calls using my phone just because the camera quality is better. Then again, if you don't want people to see your face properly, you might opt with a lower resolution camera. Saying that, it's not too low resolution and it is it is still a decent camera, but they could do much better, especially with the bezels and how thick they are. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, leave comments below if you've got a MacBook M1 uh, or you're thinking of getting one or you've had issues with it or you're not sure about the issues. I'll see if I can get back to 
as many people that comment. I know there were a few people commenting on my last video about me having it a month later. But yeah, um, like, subscribe and share and stay safe.